Dr. James Fedex, Clinical Director and Owner at Village Family Clinic. Uh, we get a lot of questions about a lot of different conditions. One of the most common conditions we get asked about these days is carpal tunnel syndrome. So, big study everyone's been talking about the last two years is sitting as the new smoking. We're all sitting at desks all day long, typing on computers, on the internet all night, and sitting is causing more health problems than smoking used to in the 50s and 60s before we knew what what that was doing to us. So people are sitting at their keyboards typing all day like this. And unfortunately, the keyboard's in an improper position like this a lot of times, which can irritate the carpal tunnel. So a lot of people heard carpal tunnel. Uh, it's probably the most misdiagnosed thing that we see in here. People think anytime there's hand pain, they have carpal tunnel syndrome, or anytime there's any kind of numbness or tingling in the lower uh, part of the arm that they have carpal tunnel. Not necessarily the case, so a proper diagnosis is very important. A lot of times numbness in the hand can be coming from the elbow, shoulders, or neck, so it's important to rule that out. Uh, that's something we can do here. But uh, typically carpal tunnel is gonna be numbness just in this half of the hand. We're gonna have these two fingers and the thumb. Uh, it's because the median nerve is the main nerve that runs through the carpal tunnel here and goes off into this side only of the hand. So any numbness or tingling on these two fingers cannot be carpal tunnel syndrome. There's other syndromes similar, but carpal tunnel is kind of the buzzword. So that's the first important thing. One way to test at home, if you might have carpal tunnel, is the old prayer test, we call it. We just hold our hands like this for about 30 seconds. What that does is put a little stretch on the carpal tunnel. If you start getting tingling in these three fingers, there's a good chance that you have carpal tunnel. But it is important to get evaluated by a qualified doctor. You can have nerve issues in the elbow, the shoulder, or neck causing it as well. Let me zoom in on our little friend here. Uh, the reason why we have carpal tunnel problems, we got the two bones of the, of the forearm here. And going into the wrist, these carpal bones are the wrist bones. Uh, the wrist is made up of eight small bones. And through this tunnel right here, you can see on the here, pass a bunch of nerves that, and tendons that control all the fingers. So when you actually move your fingers, the tendons you feel all the way up in the forearm are actually what's moving. So those muscles have tendons that run all the way through that tunnel, all the way to the top of the fingers. So in through here, there's a tendon for each finger, a couple nerves running through, and it's a pretty small area. When we end up typing or putting our wrists in this position for hours and hours in a day, that nerve can get swollen or irritated in there. That's what we call carpal tunnel syndrome. Speaking of the nerves and tendons, it's kind of hard to show on Mr. Skeleton here. We can see all the tendons and nerves running through that small space. And over top, there's this uh, retinaculum, which can hold that in position and allows these nerves to pass through uh, with some protection in there. And again, they get inflamed, cause carpal tunnel syndrome. There's a lot of different ways to treat it. Uh, the most advanced, newest way that we're doing here at the clinic is cold laser therapy. So Dr. Oz is called cold laser, the no pill pain buster. The reason is it just gets rid of all sorts of pain and inflammation, but carpal tunnel is one of the first areas that we we're doing cold laser on. Uh, it's been FDA approved for over 10 years. This is our cold laser device here at the office. ML830 is one of the first FDA approved lasers. And what it does, instead of uh, sends a light wave through the end of this probe, which gets rid of the inflammation and swelling of those nerves. We used to ultrasound these problems, which we still do, and we do have ultrasound therapy, multiple machines here in the office, but the laser gets a deeper penetration. Ultrasound maximum penetration is about one and a half centimeters to two on the most. Laser goes five centimeters, which is over double where the, where the ultrasound is going to get. It's also painless. You don't feel a cold laser and there's no messy gel or cleanup. If anyone's ever had ultrasound at home, that can be quite a messy experience. So we can demonstrate the laser. All we do is uh, putting the laser over the carpal tunnel and we'll turn it on. Uh, you will be able to see a little bit of light as it's coming out. Uh, mostly you do to put it skin on skin so you wouldn't see it, but just for demonstration. And over a series of cycles here, we'll just take a few minutes, we'll be able to get rid of that inflammation in the carpal tunnel and get rid of that nerve pain for you. Uh, a couple of other things we'll typically do for carpal tunnel is B vitamins are known to speed the healing of nerves. So even if we get the inflammation out of the nerves with the, with the laser therapy, we can still sometimes have some issues. Uh, so I recommend a good B complex for most patients. And a lot of carpal tunnel patients will have a lot of difficulty at night sleeping. Their hands will go numb while they're sleeping. So that we'll curl our wrist or do some funny sleeping pattern which puts pressure on those nerves while we're sleeping. So a carpal tunnel brace is sometimes recommended if we're having a lot of night pain. And those you can buy at any local pharmacy. There'll be a little hard brace that'll kind of hold the wrist in this position. So allow that tunnel to be open through there and allow those nerves to heal up for you. But it's commonly misdiagnosed. It's important to diagnose the carpal tunnel properly. And once it's diagnosed properly, it is a pretty quick treatment. And it's something that we treat every day here in the clinic. Thank you.